Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Staying Forever Strong. Today I'm with Dylan King, who is a life coach and hypnotherapist. You guys um, will eventually hear her full episode when it airs for my podcast, but that's still a little bit away, but so you get a little sneak peek of her. Hi, Dylan. Hey, how are you? Good. How are you? How are you hanging in? I'm good. Thank you so much for having me on today. I'm so happy to be here. Yeah, I'm happy to have you. I love talking to people and just getting everybody's like perspective because it could really help other people. So I'm excited. Yeah, absolutely. How, um, I love your wall thing, by the way. (laughs) Thanks. It's a little uh, tapestry that I put up to um, kind of make a separate space for my office. Got it. It's cool though, because it's like a it's like a bohemian background. Yeah, <laughs> so. things uh, bright because the people who had my house before me put a really weird brown paint <laughs> on the walls. So I've paint repainted two rooms, but uh, haven't gotten the whole house. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it takes time. <laughs> yeah, and a lot of money. So <laughs> yes, um, so. What have you been, so you, but you work from home normally, right? Yes, I so do. So have you been able to like keep up your normal schedule? For, so for the most part, my schedule has um, not been altered a whole lot. Um, I have two very young girls. Um, one is um, two and a half and one is nine months. So they're not old enough to be in school. I know I see a lot of parents struggling out there, yeah. um, see, seeing them trying to work from home with their kids. So they're really uh, tackling all these new adventures. Um, and I just identify with that so much because I already do that every day Yeah, uh, with my girls. Um, and it is really hard. Um, so <laughs> I know what you're going through, guys. It's, it's tough, but you can do it. <laughs> Um, so the main, uh, things that changed for me were, um, I'm really involved with some different groups at my, at my church. So me and my family always go to church on Sunday. Um, I'm actually part of a, a nonprofit organization at my church that meets on Sunday. Um, I go to a Bible study and a morning prayer on Wednesdays. And then I actually have a, an Al-Anon group that I go to on Monday evenings at the church. So, you know, when you are at home with your kids all week and (laughs) also working from home, um, also those things and that community become really important to you. And at first when, when everything changed, I kind of thought, well, no big deal. My work schedule is not changing. My girls are here anyway. It's not going to be that big a deal. And then pretty suddenly I found myself missing those things a lot. Um, So it's been kind of um, a, a push for me as you know, my organizations really stepped up to make sure that they were doing their their part to try and keep us together as a community. I also had to do my part to reciprocate um, because there were several weeks where, you know, my Al-Anon was sending me an invitation to meet on Zoom and saying, hey, did you get the email? Um, we, we wanted to have a meeting and I was just saying, uh, yeah, but it was just, it was just too hard. And actually, you know, meeting on zoom was easier than having to drive anywhere. Um, but for whatever reason, I just had kind of pulled, pulled myself back. Um, but when I did finally, you know, make the effort to, to log in, it made me feel amazing, um, to, reconnect with those people that I'm so used to seeing every week um, and getting to hear what was going on with them and and have that connection. Um, So I know that it's so easy to to pull away from people 
especially if you're not used to using Zoom um, or you're not used to logging on to these different things, um, you know, but if your communities are trying to offer these, these uh, resources for you, just try them out and try to be open-minded because any kind of uh, connection is really gonna be so much better than closing yourself off yeah. um, and sitting in your house by yourself or sitting in your house with just your kids because your kids are still just gonna run around crazy. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I so agree. Um, so kind of going off of what we were just saying, and a little bit, you kind of already said a little bit of it, but how are you st trying to stay positive? And it could be just during hard times in general. It could be if you're struggling right now. How do you like stay st strong and positive? Yeah. Um, one of the things that I um, started to do was I put together a, a challenge um, for myself. It just happened to be 30 days because there was 30 days in April. Um, so I started it on April 1st and um, so I shared that on my on my page with um, all of my followers and all of my church community and I um, I tried to make it a real variety of things and I found myself um, again you know some days I wake up and it's like yeah I I know that would be cool to do it's a nice idea um, but I, I don't really feel like it. Um, but if I actually do push myself to do it, it's actually really exciting. Um, mm -hmm. for example, one of the things on there was, um, to watch an online performance. And I knew that, um, the Met had been doing, um, free, uh, performances of their operas since they couldn't perform them in person. And I love opera. Um, I almost never watch it, but it's one of, one thing that I just, I, I really love. I just, for whatever reason, don't watch it very much. Yeah. Um, so I sat down and put on um, a performance of Macbeth. And my little two-year-old daughter came over because she heard the music and she was like, hmm, look, looking at the screen and she sat down on the bed and watched a little bit of it with me. And it was just so much fun. Um, and it, it was just so exciting and to push myself kind of yeah out of my comfort zone um, with those things brings me a lot of joy. Well, that's amazing. And this is that time. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, thank you so much um, for coming on and talking. Is there anything else you want to add? Um, maybe where people can find the challenge if they want to partake? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so you can, the easiest place to find the challenge is um, on my Instagram page, which is Queen of Grit. That's all together. Um, there's a link there, um, or you can also go to my website, which is just uh, www.queenofgrit.com. All right, and I will also add that in the description so they can click right on. Um, thank you once again, and I hope you had a fun time, and um, I will see you guys all next time. Bye. <laughs>